A year after she died, Agatha Christie saved a little girl's life, and the story only gets more riveting from there. In 1977, a toddler from Qatar came to London for emergency medical help. She was in an ongoing state of semi-consciousness and getting worse. Doctors had tried everything. And then her hair started falling out. That's when her nurse, Marsha Maitland, made an unlikely connection. She was reading Agatha Christie's The Pale Horse and recognized the girl's symptoms in the victims from that novel. And how are these hapless souls being terminated? Thallium poisoning. She immediately passed this surprising possibility on to the doctors. We were at the state where almost any suggestions were welcome. Dr. Dubowitz, the physician in charge, later said. Thallium being more common in crime than medicine, the medical team went to Scotland Yard for help finding a lab that could run the tests. The police also introduced them to their thallium expert so they could get fully caught up on the known effects of this poison. And who was the expert? A convict at nearby Wormwood Scrubs Jail whose expertise was derived from having experimented with thallium on his pet rabbits. Oh, and also his family and co-workers. With the lab results coming back positive and the detailed notes from the inmate, the team had what they needed. The antidote, it turns out, is Prussian blue, a chemical listed on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines for its effectiveness against some heavy metal poisoning. But it's more famous as the first synthetic paint pigment and can be seen, for example, in Starry Night and The Great Wave. After four months of recuperation, the girl went home in full health. Presumably, she's nearing 50 today, and all thanks to Agatha Christie, a highly alert mystery fan of a nurse, a scientifically minded psychopath, and one of Van Gogh's favorite paint colors. Hey, thanks for watching. Come along if you feel like it.